day in Sing Song City. All the musical notes were blowing around everywhere. Mr Green, the park keeper, was busy sweeping up the crotchets and quavers, and the only one who was having any fun was Daisy. Whatever was that funny noise? Hey, guys, what's happening? Every time I try to play a tune, the notes blow away. It's this strong wind. All the music is flying around everywhere. Hey, look out, drum! Here come some quavers! Wow, what a great tune. I didn't know you were so musical, drum. Ouch, that hurt. Look out! I hope this wind dies down soon, otherwise all the notes will blow out of Sing Song City. Hey, and then we'll have to call it No Song City. Ooh. All these musical notes whirling around and around are making me dizzy. Humpty Dumpty. Oh, hi, Beep. Be careful there, Humpty. Don't worry about me. I've been sitting on this wall for years and nothing's happened yet. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall and Daisy tried to help. Are you OK, Humpty? Don't worry, Humpty. We'll help you get back up. Up? I don't think I want to go back up. But Humpty Dumpty always sits on a wall. I have an idea. Trombone, you stretch up against the side of the wall like a ladder, and bass, sax and drum will slide Humpty back up again. <coughs> Ready, band? One, two, three! <coughs> <coughs> This isn't working. We need more people to help. I know who can help. I'll be back soon. Just then, Beep had a great idea. In fact, he had a fabulous idea. It was such a good idea that he zoomed off without telling anyone where he was going. Hello, my big red friend. What are you doing here? You don't normally pass the castle for another hour or so. You know Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall? Well, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. What? Do you want me to sing the nursery rhyme to you? Right. <clears throat> Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Uh, no, no, sir. You don't like my singing? No, sir. I, I mean, yes, sir. But Humpty Dumpty has fallen off the wall. Are you sure he hasn't just gone for a walk? Oh, no. Humpty never walks. And besides, I saw him fall myself. Could all the king's horses and all the king's men help to get Humpty back up again? Of course we can. OK, men, follow Beep the bus. Soldiers marching all around. Left, right, left, right. Soldiers stamping on the ground. Left, right, left, right. Soldiers marching in a line. Left. Making sure they're deep in time. Left, right, left, right. We're soldiers. Right, we're soldiers. Right, marching on the long. Right, singing in the song. Right, we're soldiers. Right, we're soldiers. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Reach 
the top and I can't stop bouncing. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There's only one thing to do. I can see me beginning to crack soon. Well, fear not, Humpty. The Grand Old Duke and all the King's men are here to help you back up again. Okay, man, let's get in position. Right, on the count of three, I want you to lift Humpty back onto the wall. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. Lift! <laughs> Come, come, men, you're in the army now. Let's be having you all the way to the top of the wall this time. There's good fellows. Ready? One, two, three, lift! <laughs> it's that wall, soldiers. It's far too high. Yes, exactly. I'm not going back up there, even if I have to walk through every street in Sing Song City to find somewhere to sit. Walk? 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 Everybody looked. And looked. And looked. Nobody had ever seen Humpty Dumpty walk before. This is an amazing sight. Humpty Dumpty walking through Sing Song City. Come on, everybody. Let's follow on behind. Sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty's now safe and sound. Humpty's got his feet on the ground. Gone are the soldiers into the dark. Humpty Dumpty. Sits in the pile. And so Humpty marched through the town looking for somewhere to sit. First, he tried a wooden fence, but it wasn't very comfortable. Ouch! Next, he tried a hedge, which looked more comfortable than the pointy fence. That didn't work either, so once more he headed off. It looked like poor Humpty would never find a wall. to do. There's nowhere left to sit. But Humpty... No, no, me. There's nothing you can say to cheer me up. <coughs> Sorry, Daisy. Even you can't make me smile. But, but Humpty, Humpty, you're, you're sitting, sitting on a wall. wall. Oh, yes. I am. Wonderful. Aye, and when you want to stretch your legs, Humpty, you can take a walk around the park. <coughs> Yes, you can come too, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> and Humpty Dumpty looked happy ever after on his low wall in the park. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. It 
was a lovely sunny day in Sing Song City and everyone was feeling very relaxed. The band was playing a happy tune. Mrs Crust was baking some pies. Miss Bloom was watering her flowers. Little Boy Blue was looking very relaxed as he lay in Farmer Brown's meadow. <coughs> Later that day, when Beep was driving around the city, something very strange happened. <coughs> Beep, what's going on? There are cows and sheep all over Sing Song City. She's right. They are everywhere. <coughs> And the cows are eating all my pies. I'll have to buy some more cornflour and start all over again. Too late, Mrs Crust. The cows are eating all the corn. This is terrible. Just imagine Sing Song City with no pies. Oh, no. It's not just cows. It's the sheep that have escaped as well. They're in Miss Bloom's meadow. <laughs> You have to do something, Beep. Why doesn't Little Boy Blue just blow his horn and all the cows and sheep will return to Farmer Brown's meadow where they belong? Oh, dear. I hope he hasn't fallen asleep again. Come on, band. Let's get down to Farmer Brown's farm and find out why Little Boy Blue's not blowing that horn. <laughs> Oh, Farmer Brown, have you seen Little Boy Blue? I haven't heard him blow that horn. All my cows and sheep are gone. I hope he's not falling asleep again. Little Boy Blue, come blow on your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. It's time for Boy Blue to bring in the sheep. It's time for the cows to settle and sleep. We'll have to wake him. Yes, let's try. But if You're awake. Of course I'm awake, Beep. I've got a job to do. And besides, I only fell asleep once. And no one will ever let me forget it. Sorry, Blue. It's just that the sheep and cows have got out and are running through Sing Song City. Why don't you blow your horn and get them all to return? Because it's broken. Listen to this. Wow, what a crazy horn. Let me hear it again. Hey, can you do a guitar sound? Oh, I don't know. Let me try. Fab! Cool. Groovy! Hey, Bands, don't encourage him. We need to get those sheep and cows back. I know. Why don't we take Little Boy Blue to Timothy Spintop and see if we can get his horn repaired? Good idea, Beep. <laughs> And so they all headed down to Timothy Spintops to see if he could repair Little Boy Blue's horn. Sure, I can fix it. 
looks like a case of mad cow. Come back at five o'clock. Oh, great. Next week. But that's seven days away. Mr. Spintop, it's urgent. Can you please fix it any quicker? Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. What about ten to five? But, but by then, the sheep and cows will have eaten everything in Sing Song City. Can you please do it any faster? Oh, I guess I could have it ready by tomorrow morning. Hey, that's great. Thanks. See you tomorrow. While Tom Bone and Little Boy Blue were at the shop, Beep tried out another idea. Daisy? Oh? Isn't your cousin a sheepdog? You've seen her work. Why don't you try rounding up the sheep and cows? <laughs> That's no good, Beep. Sing Song City sheep and cows only respond to music. I have another idea. Do you think you could teach the band the song you play on your horn to fetch the sheep and cows? Sure, it goes like this. Let's blow the trumpet, let's sound the horn, let's slide the trombone, let's all play along. Did you get that, band? Sure, no problem, no, no, we did. OK, hit it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So Beep and the band helped Little Boy Blue to get all the cows and sheep home again. Luckily, Miss Bloom's garden was a magical sing-song city garden, where new flowers bloom every day. Mrs Crust had run out of pies, so she baked cakes instead, and no one seemed to mind. And Timothy Spintop fixed Little Boy Blue's horn, just as promised. I wonder why Little Boy Blue hasn't come in to pick up the horn I repaired for him. Little Boy Blue had fallen asleep after all. He nearly forgot to get his horn. Luckily, Beep was driving past and woke him up. I must go and pick up my horn from Timothy Spintop. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long.
It was a very strange day in Sing Song City. First, the sun would shine, then it would rain. This made all the flowers in the park very happy indeed. But for everyone else, it was causing some problems. Oi, Drum! Watch who you're splashing! Sorry. I hope this rain clears up before our concert this afternoon. Oh! Yes. I don't want to be playing in the rain, and I don't think Incy Wincy Spider will want to be dancing in the rain. I'm really looking forward to seeing him dance. That's one cool dancing Spider-Man. Oh, look, the sun's out. We can practice again. <laughs> Incy, are you OK? Hey, Incy, this is no time to take a bath. You're supposed to be dancing at our three o'clock concert today. I know, but I've left my dancing shoes in my special web at the top of the roof. And every time I go to fetch them, it starts to rain. Well, it's not raining now. Do you want to try again? Oh, OK. Are you OK, Incy? Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Fifth time today! What are we going to do? I need my shoes for the concert. Timothy Spintop at the toy shop sells dancing shoes. Why don't we take you there, Incy, and buy some new ones? And so Incy Wincy got on board Beep the Bass and they headed off to the toy shop while the band played a song about Incy's adventure. Timothy Spintop was very surprised to see Incy Wincy, but he was happy to help. Mr Spintop, do you have any dancing shoes? I need them urgently. We have a concert in just two hours. Certainly do, certainly do. I have the best-looking dancing shoes in Sing Song City. There you go. Finest dance shoes in Sing Song City. Watch this. Well, that's great, Mr Spintop, but it's not really what I'm looking for. That's OK. You don't have to have those ones. We all kinds of dance shoes. Soft shoe, waltz. Dancing shoes. Funky chicken. No, Mr Spintop, you don't understand. I don't need shoes that dance. I need shoes that I can wear when I'm dancing. Oh, no. Sorry, Incy. I don't have those kind of shoes. Have you tried Mr Shoelace? 
That was a good idea that Timothy Spintop had. Mr. Shoelace would certainly have dancing shoes. Hello, Mr. Shoelace. Hello there, Incy. How can I help you? Do you have any dancing shoes? Of course. I'm a shoemaker. I have every kind of shoe. I've got clown shoes, ballet shoes, blue suede shoes, silly shoes, smart shoes, jelly shoes and smelly shoes. Whichever shoes you wish to choose. What I need, Mr. Shoelace, is dancing shoes. No problem, Incy. I know exactly what you need. I've got some very, very nice dancing shoes. That's it. That's what I need. Dancing shoes. Fantastic. Here they are. My last pair. But, Mr. Shoelace, I'm a spider. I have eight legs, not two legs like you. I need four pairs of dancing shoes. That's eight shoes. I'm sorry, Issy. I only have two. Oh, dear, oh, dear. No luck. No. What are we going to do? My concert is in one hour. Come on, everybody. We're going back to Incy's place. Oh, it's no use, Beep. There's no way we can fix the problem. How do you make your web, Incy? With my special silky web thread that I spin. Can you spin some now? Sure. Beep obviously had a good idea. But what was it? As they travelled back, Incy sat in the bus, spinning his extra-strong web threads. Now, sax, trombone and bass, I want you to play lots of notes. Incy, I want you to tie those notes together with your thread and build a ladder. Be quick, we only have 20 minutes left. What a clever idea that was. Together, Incy and the band were able to build a ladder. Incy climbed the ladder and got his dancing shoes. All eight of them. The band arrived at the concert just in time and Incy performed the best dance anybody in Sing Song City had ever seen. The concert was a great success. And later that day, Mr Shoelace presented Incy with a special set of shoes to make sure he could always climb the water spout. Even in the rain. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up The horn on the bus goes beep 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep 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 all day long. It 
It was an exciting day in Sing Song City. Beep had been busy all day bringing people to the castle to watch the Saturday afternoon marches by the grand old Duke of York and, of course, his men. Jack and Jill were there with Daisy. The cat was there with her fiddle. And, of course, the band was there, ready to play the marching music for the soldiers. Hey, watch where you glide that slide, trombone. Sorry, bass. Just trying to warm up. The soldiers will be here any minute. Are you guys ready up there? I think I hear them coming. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Lift those feet, soldiers! Left, there right, they are. Left, right. OK, band, let's hear it. One, two, three, four. Work. Yeah, but it's not as hard as marching all day. Just in time. I was starting to run out of breath. The soldiers will be pleased to have a rest as well. Hello, Beep. Hello, Duke. Do you think the band could keep playing, Beep? My lads haven't finished marching yet. The soldiers are looking a bit tired. Don't you want to give them a rest? Rest? No, I don't think so. The soldiers, they love to march. Everyone else has gone home. I think a rest would be a really good idea. You're absolutely right, Beep. Having a rest is a wonderful idea. I'll take a rest under that tree over there. That wasn't what I meant. Come on, band. Let's hear some music. Soldiers, march! About turn. About turn. Hurry up with that music now. What will we play? Something slow to give the soldiers a rest. That's a great idea. Why don't we play something really slow? Yeah! Yes! Hey guys, why are you playing a lullaby? You've put the Duke to sleep. That was the idea. Now the soldiers can have a rest. Hey, where are the soldiers? Oh, no. The soldiers are gone. They've marched off. Oh, dear. We'd better bring them back. We're always marching, marching along. Always marching to a marching song. We're always marching. Throughout the town, round and round, and up and down. Marching, marching, up and down. Marching, marching, men. Marching till the music stops, then we start up again. We're always marching. Marching along, 
Always marching to a marching song. We're always marching throughout the town, round and round and up and down. Marching, marching up and down. Marching, marching men. Marching till the music stops. Then we start up again. We're always marching throughout the town, round and round and up and down. Soldiers, halt! Hmm, that didn't work very well. Soldiers, about turn. Hey, soldiers, you can stop marching. The Duke's first asleep. Are you feeling very tired? Yes, we are. We're really tired. Aren't your feet now feeling sore? Yes, our feet are very sore. Ouch, 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 ouch. Why don't you all just take a break? Cannot stop, must not stop. The Duke will march us till we drop. Come on, guys, let's try and wake the Duke. The soldiers only take orders from him. The Duke is the only one who can stop them marching. So Beep and the band went back to wake the Duke, who seemed to be rather relaxed under the tree. Excuse me, Duke, sir. Um, can you wake up, please? Okay, band, let's play some really loud wake up music. We have to get the Duke to wake up. One, two, three, four. It's no good. The soldiers only take orders from the Duke. And the Duke only listens to army music. That's it. Why don't we play the special soldiers' wake-up call? Great idea, Bass. Oh, you mean Ravalli. That's the song they play every morning. Go for it, Sex. Oh, goodness gracious. Where have my soldiers gone? You fell asleep and left them marching, sir. Who knows where they are now? Really? I suppose I'd better call them in, then. <coughs> so yes! About time! Excuse me, sir. Don't you think that you've been marching your men a little too hard? Yeah. Everybody needs a rest now and then. Even you. <coughs> yes, quite. Soldiers, halt! Right. I'm not very happy. Not very happy at all. There have been some very silly goings on, and enough is enough. I order you all to have the rest of the day off, and tomorrow as well. Have a break, lads. Hooray! 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 OK, band. How about some music for the soldiers? Yeah. 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 Thanks to Beep and the Band, the Duke finally realised that everybody needs a rest sometimes, even soldiers. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. It 
was the first day of spring in Sing Song City. Winter was over and the sun was shining. Poor Daisy had caught a cold from the change in the weather. feeling okay. He didn't say hello. Very bad manners, I'd say. <gasps> hello, Beep. Hello, Band. Hello Hi, to you, Mrs. Mrs. Crust. Crust. Hello, Jasper. Yeah, Jasper. What's wrong with Jasper? Yeah, man. He almost ignored us. He did wave. But he didn't say hello. Well, there's certainly something strange going on. Sing Song City is usually the world's friendliest city. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What's this wall doing here? That wasn't here yesterday. Wow! That is a great wall, man. It sure is big. It'll be even bigger tomorrow. The mayor wants it to go right through the whole city. But that's crazy. We won't be able to travel through the city. Are you sure that's what he said? He didn't actually say anything at all. He just waved his hands around a lot. I think we'd better go and find him. Firefighter Ben. Oh, hello, Pussy Cats. <laughs> hello. Why are you putting cats up trees? Don't firefighters normally help cats get down from trees? Firefighter Sue asked me to do it. She asked you to do that? She didn't say anything, not even a hello. She just Waved hands around. It's a disease, I tell you. Everybody in Sing Song City has forgotten how to speak. At least Daisy will always talk to us, won't you, Daisy Wazy? It's weird, I tell you. Now even Daisy is waving her paws around. Hello. Something was definitely wrong. Cats up trees, gigantic walls, and no one saying hello in the friendliest city in the whole world. If you say hello to someone and they don't reply, clap your hands and wave goodbye. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Crust. Oh, hello, Jasper. Oh, don't bother talking to him. He won't say a word to anyone. He just keeps asking for more pies. Watch this. Any more pies, Jasper? Oh, another four pies, Jasper? Oh, OK, then. Uh, Mrs Crust, I think he's trying to say no. Well, why doesn't he say so, then? Achoo! That's it! He's got a cold and he's lost.
lost his voice. I told you it was a disease. No, it's just a sore throat. Is that right, Jasper? Clap your hands to say yes. Is that why you didn't say hello? Have you had enough pies, Jasper? Hey, we could show everybody in Sing Song City how to talk that way. And so the band went through Sing Song City teaching everyone how to talk to each other by clapping. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Hey, this clapping thing could really catch on. Sax was right. Soon everybody was clapping in Sing Song City. Do you want me to put more cats up trees? Do you want me to take the cats down from the trees? Oh, well, why didn't you just say so before? So... You want us to make the wall higher, Mr. Mayor? Oh, uh, longer? Oh, smaller? Uh, much smaller? A tiny little wall around your garden? Oh, well, for goodness sake, why didn't you just say so in the first place? So Firefighter Ben took the cats down from the tree and the builders removed the wall. And then Beep was able to visit Miss Bloom, who grew some special plants in her garden. Oh, over there is the magic bush. It does wonders for the voice. <coughs> Miss Bloom made some special tea from the magic bush and soon everybody got their voice back. <laughs> little wall, little wall, little wall. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I can talk again. <laughs> no pies, thank you. <laughs> no pies, thank you. <laughs> Thanks to Miss Bloom's special tea, everybody in Sing Song City was happily talking again. Mind you, in some ways, it was more peaceful when Daisy had lost her voice. <laughs>
It was a very silly day in Sing Song City. In fact, not only was it a silly day, it was the official silly day when everyone did their best to make everyone else laugh by doing something silly. The band played some very silly music. Beep tried out some silly sounds on his horn. <laughs> Good one, Beep. Daisy made a rather silly sound for a dog. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Daisy. In fact, everyone in Sing Song City was doing something especially silly for Silly Day. building, Mr Builder. Oh, thank you. That's very silly music you're playing, trombone. Thank you, Mr Builder. I just love silly day. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> this is getting very silly. Hello, Jasper the Clown. Where are you off to? I really need some new shoes before half past two. Do you know where I can find a cobbler? What's a cobbler? A cobbler is a person who makes and mends shoes. You could try Mr Shoelace. He makes shoes, fixes them as well. Why don't you get on board and we'll take you there? Cobbler. <laughs> Cobbler sounds like a good word to put into a song. Let's try it. So they all headed down to Mr Shoelace's shop to help Jasper the Clown find some new shoes. There you are, Miss Bloom. Some very silly flower shoes. Have a very silly day. Why, thank you, Mr Shoelace. Oh, Mr Brick the Builder. <laughs> the shoes you ordered? Oh, my! They really are silly. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jasper the Clown, what can I do for you? I'd like some very silly shoes, please. Oh, I'm afraid this is my last pair. Oh, dear. You don't like them? They're beautiful, but they're not even slightly silly at all. How can I be a clown without a pair of silly shoes to make people laugh? I'm afraid they're all I have left, Jasper. It's always like this on silly day. <coughs> oh, well, I suppose I'll take them for Daisy. Dogs love to play with shoes. Oh, yes, I know. You should see me on Dogs in Charge Day. The shoemakers just can't keep up. Not to mention the stick throwers and street cleaners. Here you are, Daisy. 
Come on, Jasper and Daisy. We've got to go. OK, Beep, we're ready. Was that? I think we just ran over Jasper's beautiful new oh. shoes. Oh dear. Poor Jasper is going to be so disappointed. Ah, oh, they don't look too bad. Yeah, all they need is a paint job. Sorry, Jasper. I didn't see them. <coughs> oh, don't worry. I couldn't use them anyway. I wanted really funny, silly shoes to make people laugh during my act this afternoon. Well, they don't look too bad. What about Mr Shoelace? Do you think Jasper will notice? Are you all crazy? They don't look anything like Jasper's shoes. Let's ask Mr Shoelace if he can help fix them. I think they will be fine. Just a couple of small adjustments needed. Wow! Where did you get these? They're great! They are? I love them! Really? Who is the incredibly clever person who did this? Well, it was quite simple, really. The band and Daisy got together. We realised that if we threw them under a bus, made a few adjustments, talked to Mr Shoelace, you know how it goes. Wow! You musicians are so clever! You've saved my act! Oh, look! It's nearly half past two! We'd better go! Jasper the Clown had his silly shoes and made everyone laugh and it was the best silly day anyone ever had in Sing Song City. Wow! That was great! Now I can hardly wait till Upside Down Day. Oh, backwards day! Yes, Daisy, we know you like dogs in charge day. Oh, I just like a normal day. And so, silly day came to an end. All the people had enjoyed Jasper the Clown's jokes, except for Mr Brick, who never got there, because his shoes were just too silly, even for silly day in Sing Song City. The wheels on the bus go round.
the happiest day of the week in Sing Song City. Every Tuesday, Beep and the band wave to Jasper the Clown. And they wave to firefighters Ben and Sue. And they say a quick hello to the three little planes. Hello, Peter, Paul and Mary. What are you bringing in today? I've got the hot chocolate. I've got the jelly. I've got the musical notes. Oh. And Burns. Oh, that's good. We were starting to run out of notes. Now that's what happens every Tuesday in Sing Song City. But today, things didn't happen the usual way. I wonder where Peter, Paul and Mary are. There's something very strange this morning. Yes, everybody looks very unhappy today. <laughs> Are you OK, Twinkle Twinkle? Do you need a lift? To be honest, Beep, I'm feeling a little down in the dumps this morning. Hey, Twinkly, what are you doing down here? Yeah! Shouldn't you be up there, twinkling away in the sky? Well, that's the problem. I'm bored with that job. It gets lonely up there and no one appreciates me. Oh, that's not true. Everybody in Sing Song City loves you. I want a real job like you, Beep. Driving everybody around or like the band. Making cool music all day. If you could sing, you would be a pop star. <laughs> right. After all, I'm already a star. I just need to learn how to be a pop star. Can you help me, Beep? Well, I can't. But get on board and I'll take you to someone who can help. So Beep and the band headed off to see Mr Snip, the coolest guy in all of Sing Song City. He would certainly know all about pop music. Hey, Beep, Band, Daisy, Twinkle, what brings you here to the coolest spot in Sing Song City? Twinkle Twinkle here would like to become a pop star. Can you help? Of course. You've come to the right place to become a star, my twinkly friend. Um, not just a star, Mr. Snip. A pop star. Okay, Twinkle. There are three things you need if you're going to be a pop star. Uh-huh. The first is dancing. Can you dance, Twinkle? Watch this. Groovy! Okay, what's number two? The smile. <laughs> You've got to have the kind of smile that lights up the whole world. Go for it, Twinkle! That star quality, that is. Okay, what's number three? Singing. Oh. Singing? You can sing, can't you? If you're going to be a pop star, you have to sing. Of course. Oh. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder oh. what you are. Oh. Why are you all clapping? Because she stopped. Oh, it's no good. I can't sing. I'll never be a pop star. Oh, Twinkle, why don't you hang around with us for the day? All the happy, friendly people in Sing Song City will cheer you up. 
And so they all headed off around Sing Song City. But it was definitely a strange Tuesday, and something was definitely wrong. There's Jasper the Clown. He will help cheer up Twinkle Twinkle. <laughs> uh, perhaps we'll keep going. Cheering me up. I know. I must find out what's wrong. Something isn't right. It's not a pretty sight. It's hard to find a smile in Sing Song City. Something's going on. Every grin has gone. We're trying to find a smile in Sing Song City. Looking up, looking down, all we can see is a great big crowd. Over here, over there. On. Why is everyone so sad? No jelly. No hot chocolate. Everybody, what's that sound? It was then that Beep understood what had happened. The planes were really very late, and no one had had their deliveries of hot chocolate or jelly. Peter, Paul, and Mary, where have you been? The town has run out of hot chocolate. And jelly, man. Uh, sorry, we got lost. How can you get lost? Normally, we use the stars in the sky to guide us. And last night, the biggest and brightest star of all was missing. Oh, that was me. I'm the biggest and brightest star. Yes, and where were you? We needed you. You needed me? Yes. You will be there tonight, won't you? Yes, I, I think I will. When we wave the sun bye-bye When the moon is oh. in the sky And so Twinkle Twinkle realised she had an important job after all. The people of Sing Song City gathered to drink hot chocolate, eat jelly, and bones, of course, while they gazed at the biggest, brightest, most beautiful star in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. It 
It was a hot, lazy Thursday afternoon in Sing Song City. Beep, Daisy and the band were in the park watching Jasper practice his new tricks. And for my last amazing trick, I shall blow this balloon into the biggest one ever seen in Sing Song City. Drum roll, please. Drum? <gasps> Oh, sorry, that's me, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, I almost broke the record. Oh, never mind, Jasper. Remember, practice makes perfect. You're right, Beep. And I've got lots of balloons. <laughs> oh, well, Jasper, we've got to go. Jack and Jill are waiting for us. Bye-bye. See you soon. So Beep and the band set off to pick up Jack and Jill from the wishing well. They had gone there earlier that day to fill up their bucket with magic water. Come on, Jill. We're almost there. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! They've slipped! <laughs> hey, man, who turned out the lights? Hey, Sax. Your face looks a bit pale. <laughs> Get it? Bucket? <laughs> pale? <laughs> oh, please yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Are you all right? Oh, yes. It's the third time we've fallen down the hill today. It's just too steep to walk up, you see. Maybe I could drive you up the hill. Could you think you could? Ooh. Uh, well, um, I think so. Um, in that case, uh, could we have our bucket back, please, Sax? <laughs> sure, man. But is it meant to have a hole in it? Oh, no. What are we going to carry the water in now? Help! Beep! Help! Um, did someone call my name? I heard it too, but it wasn't one of us. Beep! I'm up here in the sky! Help! <coughs> oh, what is it, Daisy? Jasper, what in Sing Song City are you doing up there? Well, I managed to blow the biggest balloon ever, but I was so excited I forgot to let go and I was blown away by the wind. Oh no, here comes another gust. Help! Oh my! Come on, band, we've got to get Jasper back. Beep and the band chased after Jasper as he floated high above Sing Song City and they soon caught up with him.
OK, band, play some sharp notes. <laughs> hey, that is what I call pop music. <laughs> Everyone, is there anything I can do for you? Like uh, honk my nose <laughs> or uh, pull a silly face? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, there is something. Could we borrow one of your balloons? <laughs> to find Jack and Jill, who were still trying to fix the hole in their bucket. Poor oh, Beep. We can't mend our bucket. What are we going to do? Don't worry. I've got one of Jasper's balloons. We can use that to carry the water instead. Oh, great, great idea. idea. Come on, climb aboard. Wishing well, here we come. <laughs> Thanks to Beep's brave climb to the top of the hill, Jack and Jill were able to fill their balloon with water from the wishing well. Oh, why don't you make a wish, Beep? Good idea. I wish that Wishing Well Hill was easier to climb. And from that day on, Jack and Jill were able to climb up the hill to fetch their pail of water. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. It was another beautiful sunny day in Sing Song City, so Beep and the band decided to take a drive through the park. Hey man, this is the way to relax, laying back and catching some sun. It certainly is, but Drum, you better put some more of that cream on. We don't want your skin getting burnt. Good idea, trombone. Stop, Beep! <laughs> What's the matter? Why did you want me to stop, Bass? Oh, look in that pond. There's lots of little ducklings. 
Oh, base? Is that all it was? But you are right. Ducks are very cute. <laughs> hey! They all sound like little saxophones. Whip, whip, whip! That's really good, Sax. But we better get going before Mother Duck thinks you're one of her ducklings. Hey, Beep. You're right, man. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Waddling quack, waddling quack. Only a duck can quack like that. Waddling quack, waddling quack. Only a duck can quack, quack, quack. Beep drove through the town, completely unaware of the ducklings waddling happily along behind him. Waddling quack, waddling quack. Some are quite thin and some are fat. Waddling quack. It was quite a sight for the people to see in Sing Song City. No one could help but look in surprise. Waddling quack, waddling quack. Little wet feet go pit and pat. Waddling quack, waddling quack. Waggling tails like that. Waddling quack. Why everyone's pointing at us? Do I look extra silly today? No more than normal, Beep. <laughs> oh, heavy man! Now I know why everyone's staring. We're being followed by, by the, the ducklings. ducklings. <laughs> oh no! We've got to get them home. Mother Duck will be awfully worried. No, be careful, Daisy. You'll scare them. Oh, no. How will we get them back to the pond now? Hey, why don't we all dress up like ducks? And maybe they'll think we're their mother. Oh, don't be silly, Drum. I could never look anything like a duck. Maybe a swan, but never a duck. Hey, Drum, you're a genius. I am? Uh, I mean, I am. <laughs> it must have been Sax's quacking that made the ducklings follow us. So maybe as Sax walks around Sing Song City quacking, the ducklings will come out of hiding. You're right, Beep. Go on, Sax. Be like a duck. And let's find those little ducklings. Oh, no, man. This is so uncool. So Sax walked around the town pretending to be a duck, hoping he would find the lost ducklings. However, many of the townsfolk of Sing Song City weren't too sure what Sax was up to. Quack! <laughs> it looks like poor Sax has gone a little quackers. <laughs> quack, quack! Oh man, this just isn't jazz. At first, Sax couldn't find any of the ducklings. Quack, quack! Quack, 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 quack. Oh, I can't find these ducklings anywhere. But then suddenly... Hey, man, that 
that sounded like a... Quack, quack. What? Hey, man, I found one. Quack. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, well done, Sax. You found all of them. <laughs> oh, what? cool. So Beep and the band took them back to the pond, hoping that Mother Duck wasn't too worried. Duck, we found your ducklings. <laughs> hey, I'm sure gonna miss those little fellas. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said, Quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day. Again, Sax. You know what happened last time? Well, man, it wasn't me. <laughs> I think I might know where that missing duckling is. Sax, blow a loud note. Uh, uh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> So Beep and the band eventually got the ducklings back home safe and sound. And did Sax learn a lesson? Hey, man, I won't be doing my duck noises again. But I can do a great lion. Want to hear it? No way! Good gracious me, no! No, please! <laughs> well, maybe not. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round. City, and most people were still tucked up snug in bed. But Beep had a busy day ahead of him and was already up and about. Ah, oh, what a beautiful morning it is. Oh, it's very early though, Beep. <laughs> it's the best part of the day. But we haven't had any breakfast yet. 
Whoa, man! Am I dreaming now, or did a green pea just fly past me? Whee! This is fun! Look! They're coming from over there! Whee! Hello, Spoon! Hello, Dish! What are you and your little peas up to? We're off to join the circus! So, we're practising our pea jumping act. What do you think? Wow! It's really great! <laughs> Thanks, Beep. Well, good luck with the circus. Bye, Beep. Bye. Beep and the band then saw two old friends, Calamity Cow and the Cat with the Fiddle. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> Calamity, are you all right? You know you shouldn't play near roads. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, everyone. Oh, oh, oh stop, Daisy. <laughs> oh, but Cat just told me the silliest thing. What? I, that the moon was made out of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> But it is. Hey, why don't you ask Mr. Moon himself? So Calamity Cow ooh, called ooh. to Mr. Moon, who was about to go to bed ooh, after a hard night shining. Hello! Cooey! Mr. Moon! <sighs> oh, hello, Calamity. How can I help you? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Moon, but are you really made out of cheese? <laughs> Why, yes. You can try a piece of me if you want. Oh, really? Oh, oh thank you. Cheese is my favourite. But how are you going to reach Mr. Moon? He's very high up. Oh, I'll... Um... I'll jump! Oh, don't be silly, Calamity. Cows can't jump. They move. A cow might jump. A cow might cry. A cow might jump into the sky. A cow might jump up and down. But she's big and round. If you join a circus, then you can be fired out of a cannon. You'd reach Mr. Moon then. <laughs> hey, the circus. That's given me an idea. I'll be back very soon. So Beep headed off down the road full of excitement with a plan to save the day. comes back soon. We still haven't had any breakfast. And I'm terrible at playing on an empty stomach. And, uh... Oh, excuse me. Don't worry, Bass. Here comes Beep now. 
Hey, man, he's got spoon and dish with him. Hello, everyone. Guess what? Spoon and Dish are going to help Calamity get to Mr Moon. But how? Using their circus skills. Oh, my! Oh. Are you sure this will work, Beep? Um, well, I think so. Calamity when she comes back to Earth. Let's go, band! Don't worry, Calamity! We'll catch you! <sighs> Get ready, band. It looks as though Calamity is coming in to land. Here she comes. Oh, uh, back a bit. Now to the left. Oh, oh, get ready! Oh, thank you ever so much for catching me. Now, who wants some of this special moon cheese for breakfast? Yes, please! <laughs> so Beep and the band all had a piece of Calamity Cow's moon cheese for breakfast, preparing them for their next exciting adventure. But that is another story. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes. Sing Song City. Beep and the band had just finished taking the school children home and were on their way back when suddenly. Achoo! <laughs> oh! Oh! What was that? It was you that 
that sneezed, Bo Peep. Are you all right? Oh, no, Peep. I've got a d terrible <laughs> chill cold. Oh, dear. I was rounding up the sheep this morning when it started to rain. And you see, I I'd forgotten my coat and got wet <laughs> chill through. Well, the best thing for a cold is a nice cup of hot tea. Uh, well, uh, I heard the best thing was to drink a large eggnog, dear. Nah, stand on one foot and then blow a loud, fat raspberry. Oh, don't be silly, Drum. Well, it works for me. Oh, oh thanks, Drum. I'll keep it in mind. Come on, I'll give you a lift to Polly's. She's sure to put the kettle on for you. You'll be better in no time. Oh, I can't, Beep. I've got to give my sheep a, a, a haircut. Their chew wool has got far too long. <coughs> Don't worry, Bo Peep. We'll make sure the sheep get a haircut. So Beep took Bo Peep off to Polly's. Meanwhile, the band tried to get the sheep ready for their haircut. Unfortunately, this wasn't as easy as the band thought it was going to be. So, what are we meant to do with these, trombone? It's a bit big to blow my nose on. <laughs> oh, they're not for that. They're for tying around the sheep. We don't want them to get wool down the back of their necks while they have their hair cut. Oh, no, man, I hate that. Shush. OK, band, slowly does it. Hey, trombone, are you sure this is going to work? They look a bit sheepish to me. One, two, three, now! <laughs> This is most embarrassing. Don't worry. I've got a great idea. Beep had dropped off Bo Peep and was on his way back to help the band. I wonder how the band is getting on with the sheep. Oh, dear. <coughs> Come back here. Oh, my. Uh, oh, man. Which sheep was mine? Stop! Oh, hello, Beep. Uh, look, the, the sheep, they just don't want their hair cut. What are we going to do? I know. Let's take them to a proper hairdresser. OK, sheep. Who wants a ride? OK. Then climb aboard. Oh, oh. Where are we going, Beep? To see the coolest hairdresser in town, Mr. Snip. The sheep really enjoyed their first ride in a bus and found everything they saw very funny. But poor Daisy found the sheep a bit too loud. Hello, Mr Snip. Yo, good to see you, Beep. Hey, what can I do for you? Well, little Bo Peep's sheep need their hair cutting. Hey, no probs. Sheep are my best customers. Oh, really? Yeah. They don't call me a bobber for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who wants a cool hairdo? <laughs> first things first. We have to find the right sheep look. <laughs> Dry up. 
Beep, that's the sheep all finished for you. Oh, wow! They look really good, Mr. Snip. I can't wait to see what Bo Peep thinks. Everyone aboard? Then let's go! So Beep and the band took the sheep back to their field, where Bo Peep was waiting. Are you feeling better, Bo Peep? Oh, yes, Beep. The tea didn't work, but standing on one leg and blowing a loud raspberry did. Thank you, Drum. Well, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Please welcome the sheep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come. Lost her sheep and didn't know where to find them. But all of the sheep have come home to Bo Peep, wagging their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep, little Bo Peep. Thanks to Beep and the band, Bo Peep got rid of her cold and got the coolest sheep in Sing Song City. And from then on, the sheep never minded having their hair cut, just as long as Beep took them to see Mr. Snip. Excited. It was old King Cole's birthday, and because music was the king's most favourite thing in the entire world, the band had been asked to play at his party. Unfortunately, Jasper had been put in charge. Now, I wonder where Jasper is. Look out! <laughs> Jasper. Oh, oh, there you are, Beep. At last. Oh, I've so many things to do. I ran out of fingers and toes to count them on. Is there anything we can do? Oh, oh no. Everything is under control now. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>
Scratch. He'll never give me a royal red nose now. Cool. Look at all that food. We'll go and get the cake for you, Jasper. Come on, band. Thanks, Beep. We'll be back with the king's cake before you can say banana and toffee banoffee. <laughs> So Beep headed off to Mrs Crest's bakery to pick up old King Cole's birthday cake. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the party, Jasper was beginning the show for the king. <laughs> Good afternoon, your, your highness. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> Hello, Jasper. Am I going to hear some music today? You know how much I love music. Um, yes, um, but, uh, Your Majesty, what do you get if you try and cut two pieces of wood with your fingers? I saw hand. <laughs> Oh, well, yes, that's very funny, Jasper, I think. Is the band next? The band had picked up the cake from Mrs Crust and were trying to load it onto Beep. <coughs> oh, no, Daisy! Oh, oh no! Oh, that was close. I almost let go. Uh, but you have drum. Oh, no, drum! Oh, oh no, drum! No. Oh, no. Oh. Are you all right? Mm, I love chocolate. Oh, what are we going to do now? I'll never bake another cake in time. Maybe we can give the king something instead of a cake. But what? The king loves cakes. It's his most favourite thing in the whole world, apart from music. Hey, I've got a great idea. We'll give the king his two most favourite things together. Can you make a cake with nothing in it, Mrs Crust? Oh, yes, dear. That's easy. Great! <laughs> this will be the best cake the king has ever had. Oh, oh, dear me. Where's the music? Oh, where can Beep be? He should be back by now. Mrs Crest had made a huge hollow cake out of icing. She was about to add the top when Beep stopped her. Hold on, Mrs Crust. There is one more special ingredient to add. It's the musical surprise. OK, band? A one, two, three, four. Right, Mrs Crust, add the top. Well, I've never made a cake with a pop music filling. <laughs> what shall we call it? How about Beep's Rock Cake? <laughs> 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 Come on, we'd better get the cake to the party. Jasper will be worried. So Beep raced back to the park with the king's birthday cake. Arriving not a moment too soon, as the merry king was starting to get very, very bored. Oh, Jasper, where is the music? Well, um, uh, yes, sir, I, I um, uh, oh, no. Hooray! It's Beep and the band with your cake. Cake? Cake? Oh, did someone say cake? Yes, it's very special. So be careful how you cut it, Your Highness.
was the best birthday cake I've ever had, Jasper. Thank you. I'd like to present you with this royal red nose. Oh, my! Hooray! 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 At the end, the king was heard to say that it had been the best birthday he had ever had, and he asked Jasper to organise it again next year. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. were off to see their friend Mary, who was digging a new flower garden for the park. After weeks of work, today was the day it was to be opened by the mayor. I'm really looking forward to seeing Mary's new garden. I hope there are some tulips. They're my favourite. have trampled all over my lovely new flower garden. Look! Oh, dear! What am I going to do, Beep? The mayor will be here soon, and the garden looks a terrible mess. <laughs> I know. We can go and see Miss Bloom. She's bound to have some flowers you can have. So Beep, the band and Mary went to see Miss Bloom, hoping she could replace Mary's trampled flowers. Hello, Miss Bloom. Ah, oh, Petal, what are you up to? We've come to buy some flowers for Mary's garden, but you don't seem to have many left. No, Beep. I'm completely sold out now. But what about those beautiful pot plants over there? Oh, sorry, Petal, but those are for the mayor. Now that's what you call pot luck. Oh, oh drum! What are we going to do now? I've got nothing to fill up all the holes in the garden. Well, I always decorate my flowers with pretty little knickknacks. Hey, the garden would look lovely with lots of shiny decorations. Come on, let's see if we can find some. Yeah! Beep drove around Sing Song City, whilst Mary, Daisy and the band kept an eye out for pretty things to decorate the garden with.
Gatsby travelled along the seafront, something caught his eye. Oh, look! What's that on the beach? It looks like just the thing for your garden, Mary. You're right, Bee. Oh, let's go and see what it is. Mary and the band were soon on the beach, taking a closer look at what was shining so prettily in the sun. Oh, it's all right, Daisy. They're only seashells. Hey, I can hear music inside this one. Wow! Hey, man, it must have come from a rock pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these will be perfect for my garden. Right, let's see who can collect the most shells. Ready, steady, go! Whilst the band searched for as many shells as they could find, Beep went off in search of some other decorations. As Beep passed Farmer Brown's farm, he could hear the peaceful tone of bells ringing. That's strange. I wonder what's making that lovely sound. Aha! They're cowbells! I see. Farmer Brown has found a way to keep an eye on you all at last. Hello, Beep. Oh, it's a shame about Mary's garden. If there's anything I or the cows can do to help, please let me know. I think there is, Farmer Brown. These cowbells would look lovely in Mary's new garden. Can I borrow them? Oh, of course you can, Beep. I'm sure the cows won't mind, will you? Beep collected the cowbells from Farmer Brown and headed off to pick up Mary and the band, who by now had collected lots and lots of shells. Wow! Look at all those shells! Now we've got all the decorations we need. Come on, let's go back to the garden. So Beep headed back to Mary's garden, loaded up with the decorations. OK, team. It won't be long before the mayor's here. So let's start decorating. garden finished, Mary. It certainly is, Mr Mayor. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> I now pronounce Mary's garden open. <laughs> oh, well, Mary, you really have done a wonderful job. <laughs> and as a thank you, I'd like to give you these. They're the plants that we tried to buy from Miss Bloom. They must have been for Mary all the time. <laughs> Great! We can add them to the garden after all. Mind you, the garden still looks lovely like this. And it's all thanks to you, Daisy and the band. Everyone loved Mary's garden. 
But they all wondered how she had got her garden to grow with silver bells and cockle shells. But we know, don't we? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. Time in Sing Song City, but for Beep and the band, today's lunch was to be very special. They were all on their way to see Mrs. Crust to pick up a picnic that she had made especially for them. We're almost at Mrs. Crust's shop. Mmm, I can smell the cake from here. <coughs> <Whoa! laughs> what was that? It looked like a low flying pudding. Look out, everyone! Here comes another! Oh! Oh, they must be coming from Mrs. Crust's shop. I wonder what's going on. Is everything all right? Yes, my dear. Jasper's got the clown cake throwing competition coming up. He's just trying to find the perfect flying cake. <coughs> Oh, oh, no, that isn't right either. Oh, Beep, what am I going to do? I can't find a cake with just the right amount of splat anywhere. Never mind, Jasper. Why don't you come with us on our picnic to cheer yourself up? Right, here's your lunch, Beep. It smells lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy seems to be keen on the picnic too. That's because I've baked some special Daisy dog biscuits for her. <laughs> So Beep, the band, Jasper and Daisy picked up their picnic and headed out of Sing Song City to find somewhere quiet to eat. Oh, Beep! Can we stop soon? I'm so hungry for cake, my drum started to rumble. <laughs> Poor old drum. Well, we'd better stop here then. <laughs> right, who's ready for lunch? Why don't we play a game first? Yes! But I want some cake. Oh, come on, drum. Hey, let's play Hide and Seek. Beep and Daisy closed their eyes whilst everyone went and hid. But Naughty Drum couldn't wait. Taking the cake from the basket, Drum ran off and ducked down in the rowing boat so he could have a picnic all of his own. Oh. <laughs> yum, yum. 98, 99... One hundred! Coming, ready or not! Ready or not. Hide and
<laughs> Everyone was soon found, all except for Drum. Well, we can't find Drum anywhere. It looks like he's the winner. Hooray! We give up, Drum. You can come out now. Listen, I'd recognise that snoring anywhere. It's Drum. But, like, hey, man, where is he? Oh, no. Look, he's in that rowing boat. To wake him, he's drifting downstream. Um, ready, everyone? One, two, three. Wake, wake up, up drum! drum! But poor Drum was sound asleep and couldn't hear anything above his loud snores. Oh, what are we going to do? Hey, I know. We'll try to save Drum as he passes under a bridge. Let's go. Jasper, Daisy and the band all climbed aboard Beep and gave chase. Meanwhile, Drum was still snoring away, happily unaware of the adventure taking place around him. band had caught up with Drum and were waiting on the bridge to put their plan into action. Ready, Jasper? As the boat passes under the bridge, lean over and pull Drum out of the boat. Uh, but, uh, won't I fall in? Don't worry. Bass and sax will have hold of you. Oh, right. Ready, steady, go! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay, I've got him. That's not drum. That's the cake. Oh dear! So it is. Whoa! Oh no, the cake! No! Oh, what was that? Cool. What a great splat! Mm, strawberry cake. Drum soon rowed himself back to safety. Then he realised he had been very naughty. But strangely, no one seemed to be upset with him. Are you OK? Yes, and I'm sorry about taking the cake. That's all right, Drum. You've helped Jasper find his cake for the clown competition. Yeah, the splat that the cake made was perfect. I'm sure to win if I get Mrs Crass to make me one of those for the competition. Hey, man, don't talk about food. This running around has made me hungry. <coughs> of course, I completely forgot. We've still got our picnic to eat. Hooray! So the band, Jasper and Daisy, all settled down and had their lunch, which really was the best picnic they'd ever tasted. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down. 
Sing Song City. Beep was hoping the rest of the day would be a bit quieter, but worse was about to come. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> it's the new clock bell. What do you think? little mice. We're moving home. We can't stay in the clock anymore. That bell is far too loud. We haven't slept since it was put in. <sighs> but where will you live? Um, oh, oh no. We don't have anywhere to go. Oh, don't worry. We'll find you somewhere. Climb on board. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, my. The clock just won't be the same without the mice. Bye, Mr. Mayor. Bye, Beep. Be sure to find the mice a good home. Will do. So Beep searched high and low around Sing Song City to find the mice a new home. Travelling all over Sing Song City, Beep couldn't find anywhere for the mice to live. Then Beep had one more idea and went to see <laughs> Jasper. Sorry, mice. Jasper is far too ticklish for you to live in his pockets. But where are we going to go? We're homeless. Wait a moment. What's all that stuff behind you, Jasper? Oh, they are old toys that no one wants. Um, what's wrong with that clock? I don't know. 
I can't get it to work. The hands are stuck on four. Well, at least it's right twice a day. <laughs> Unlike you, Drum. Hey, what a great place for the mice to live. But it's a special clock. It's a cuckoo clock. Oh, what's a cuckoo clock? <laughs> Would you like to live in a cuckoo clock, little ones? So Beep and the band left the mice in their new home back at the toy shop. Everyone thought the adventure was over until Beep drove past the town hall again. Beep! Beep! Stop! Oh, terrible news! Oh, what is it? The bell was too big and fell off the clock. Oh, what are we going to do? There are no chimes and we're coming up to five o'clock. Don't worry. I know just the mice who can help us. But maybe Drum and Bass had better wait here in case I don't make it back in time. Oh, jolly good idea. OK, let's go. Beep then headed off to fetch Hickory, Dickory and Doc, leaving Drum and Bass to get ready to ring in place of the bell. Uh, I think I'll call myself Bass the Chime. What do you think, Drum? Well, the name certainly rings a bell. <laughs> oh, very funny, Drum. The minutes ticked by, and it looked as though Beep wasn't going to make it. The two instruments got ready to chime, like the clock. However, Drum then realised something very important. Er, uh, bass, how many times are we meant to ring like bells? Well, it will be five o'clock, so five times. Oh, I can't count up to five. Oh, it's easy. Listen, one, two, three, four, five. There. That wasn't too difficult, was it? Hooray! It's Beep! Oh, well done, Beep! But we've only got two minutes to fix the bell. Don't worry. The mice are already on their way. It's five o'clock. It looks as though they fixed it just in time. Oh, no! The bell's not working at all. We didn't put the bell back. Oh, then what did you use? <laughs> it's the cuckoo bird. Oh, I see. Jolly good show. <laughs> <laughs> so with the loud bell gone, the mice moved back into the clock and Hickory, Dickory and Doc were able to sleep soundly once again. And as for Beep and the band, they were just looking forward to a slightly quieter day. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus...
bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Sing Song City, so Beep and the band decided to go to the seaside down by Harmony Harbour. Are we nearly there yet? Almost. Oh, I can't wait. Not long now, Drum. In fact, can you see what I can see? Uh, oh, yes! The sea! Hooray! Right. Let's find somewhere nice to... Stop! <laughs> What's wrong, Drum? Wow! Look at the size of that ice cream! Oh. Well, we've certainly found the right place to spend the day! Woohoo! I'll go and get some ice creams. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back before you can say Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. <laughs> Where's the ice creams then, Sax? <laughs> oh, man. Beep was then greeted by three familiar voices. Recognize that harmony? <laughs> I thought so. It's the little boats, Dozy, Beaky, and Titch. Hello. The little boats were so happy to see Beep and the band, they offered them a trip round the pier. Wow! If you're sure it's safe. The little boats told Beep it was all right, as long as they didn't go out of the harbour. Hooray! Sax then returned with the ice creams. Yum, yum. Mmm, -hmm. strawberry flavour. So, who wants an ice cream? Yes, yes me! Yes. Yes. So the band had their ice creams and were about to set sail. All except for oh. Drum. What's wrong, Drum? Oh, I feel a bit sick. Oh, dear. I said you shouldn't have eaten that ice cream so quickly. Oh, you're right, Beep, but it was chocolate chip. My favourite. Never mind. Maybe you can go sailing next time. The little boats then started to argue about who was the fastest and who should lead. The little boats decided to have a race to find out who was the fastest once and for all. So Beep was asked to say go. On your marks, get set. Whoa
race was very exciting. So much so, the little boats forgot about staying in the harbour. Oh! Sailing, sailing, sailing on the sea. Sailing, sailing, they're happy as can be. See the little sailing boats sailing on the sea. See the little sailing boats, one, two, three. See the little sailing boats racing in the wind. See the little sailing boats which one of them will win. Sailing, sailing, sailing on the sea. Sailing, sailing, they're happy as can be. Cool. The sea seems to like the little boats, Beep. Oh, why's that? It keeps giving them a wave. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful, Drum. <laughs> the race is so exciting. Who do you think will win? I don't know, but the little boats are a long way out of the harbour. Oh, don't worry. What can happen? Oh, no. Where's the wind gone? The three boats had forgotten their uncle's warning about staying in the harbour. And sure enough, the wind had stopped blowing. Dozy, Beaky, Titch and the band were stuck out at sea. Oh, look, Beak. They stopped. Who won the race? No one. There's just no wind to blow the boats along. Oh, is that why they're drifting towards the lighthouse? <gasps> oh, my! Beep then sped over to the lighthouse to try and save the band and the little boats. Don't worry, we'll save you. But Beep couldn't think of a way to help them until... Maybe if we all start puffing, we can blow them away. <laughs> hey, that's it. Oh, if you can hear me, band, play a very noisy tune. OK, Beep! Whoa! It's working! So the band and the little boats got back to Harmony Harbour safely. Dozy, Beaky and Titch all said sorry to Beep and promised him that they wouldn't go out of the harbour ever again. Well, man, this adventure shows one thing. What's that, Sax? It's good to be a wind instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Beep had saved the day again and gave the little boats an amazing story to tell their Uncle Tom the tugboat when he came home. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The 
wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long. sunny day in Sing Song City. The perfect day for a tea party. And that's just what the people of Sing Song City had decided to have. Stop! Oh, please! <laughs> oh, dearie me, I'm ever so sorry, Beep. I wondered if you could give me a ride to the tea party in the park. This basket's ever so heavy. Of course, Mrs. Crust. Step aboard. So Beep headed towards the park to help with the tea party, picking up people on his route. There's a party in the park, a party in the park. Everyone will have a lovely day. We'll be driving all around, pick up everyone in town, cos the party's in the park and it's today. Sandwiches and cakes, thick vanilla shakes, that beep but look at those beautiful flowers oh yes oh they are pretty they must be miss blooms but where is she i'm over here you oh. hello flower <laughs> <laughs> Get it? <laughs> flower. <laughs> the flowers look great, Miss Bloom. <laughs> Thanks, Petal. I couldn't have done it without Mary's help. She's watered all these flowers for me. have a tea party without any tea. <gasps> <gasps> Don't worry, Polly. We'll help. Maybe we could find something else to use instead of a kettle. Good thinking, Base. But what could they possibly use instead of the kettle to make tea? Jasper the Clown had an idea. Why don't you try my shoe? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. The tea would go 
straight through the hole. What about my hard hat? That doesn't have any holes in it. It's worth a try. Oh no, that won't do. It hasn't got a handle. What about my basket? That has a handle. No, I can't pour tea without a spout. Here, I found this old watering can lying about. I think that'll do the job. Uh, oh, thanks, Mr. Green. I suppose if it'll water plants, it'll pour tea. It is? Wait right there. Beep knew just how to save the day. He knew he'd seen that kettle somewhere. Back at the tea party, the watering can wasn't making such a good kettle after all. But Daisy didn't seem to mind. Just the person I was looking for. I am? Oh. oh, it's taken me such a long time to water these plants. My watering can doesn't seem to be working very well today. <laughs> Come with me and I'll explain why. <laughs> Where did it go? My watering can! Oh, my kettle! You found it! Hey, well done, Beep Man! How did you find it? Beep explained how Mary had picked up the kettle, mistaking it for her watering can. Thank you, Beep! <laughs> You're welcome! I think this calls for a celebration. Tea party, anyone? Hooray! <laughs> Polly puts the kettle on, Polly puts the kettle on, Polly puts the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, they've all gone away. Everyone was able to have tea at the tea party after all, and everyone had a great time. They all had to agree that this was the best Sing Song City tea party ever. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the 
like any other day in Sing Song City. The sun was shining and everyone had jobs to do. Jasper could never resist a joke, but Miss Bloom didn't think it was very funny. <laughs> what a squirt! <laughs> squirt, get it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Snip? I'm babysitting for the old woman who lives in the shoe, and hey, dude, she's got so many children, what else could I do? Problem is, the baby won't stop crying. Well, uh, she's not crying now. Oh, <laughs> You see what I mean? Oh, dear. Ah, I know. Why don't you try playing a lullaby? It might help her to go to sleep. Cool. It's worth a try. lullaby worked so well that everyone else fell asleep too. But not for long. <laughs> oh no, not again! Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jasper was still up to his old tricks. Miss Bloom wasn't very happy when she saw Jasper scaring away her customers. Back in the park, no matter what they tried, the baby wouldn't stop crying. Oh, dearie me! Oh, what have we got here, Bethel? Oh, there, there, sweetheart. Oh, coochie-coo! Oh, coochie-coo! Oh! Oh, dear. I think I've frightened the poor mite. I bet I can stop her crying. Huh. <laughs> See, 
I told you it would work! Hooray! <laughs> That's nothing! Watch this! Before anyone could stop her, Daisy climbed into the tree to get the rattle. Be careful, Daisy! But now that Daisy was up the tree, it didn't look quite so easy to get down. <laughs> down below, no one knew what to do. I know who can help. Wait right there! Beep had a plan and raced off across Sing Song City. Back in the park, the others were doing their best to get Daisy down from the tree. Is it Beep? It's Daisy. She's stuck up in a tree and we can't get her down. We're on our way. Ready, Ben? You bet. Come on, Red. Let's go. Lead the way, Beep. Left a bit. No. Turn to the right. Bit higher. Things weren't going very well in the park. It was a good job that Beep was on his way. Hey, dude, mind the hair. Hooray! <laughs> 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 oh, Beep's back! Good sinking, Beep. <laughs> Hold on tight, Daisy. We're on our way. <laughs> You're welcome, Daisy. Listen. The baby has stopped crying. <laughs> In all the excitement, no one had noticed how quiet the baby was. She's gone! They looked everywhere they could think of, but there was still no sign of the baby. Listen carefully, everyone. She's in the tree. Oh, quick, we need to get her down. The baby had climbed up the ladder when no one was looking and had found a cosy place to sleep. Oh. had saved the day again. Not once, but twice. With both Daisy and the baby back on solid ground, everyone could breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> and Mr Snip decided he wasn't cut out for babysitting after all. The wheels on the 
bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. Noticed that everyone in Sing Song City seemed to be busy today. Jasper was practicing his juggling. Peter, Paul, and Mary had just taken off to deliver some emergency chocolate biscuits to a faraway land. And Mr. Brick had the job of relaying the airport's runway whilst the planes were away. Even Mrs. Crust had been busy baking extra buns. What would you like, dearies? <laughs> I wonder what Mrs. Crust is baking today. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> is everything all right, Mrs. Crust? Oh, yes. It's just my buns. They keep frightening my customers away because they're so angry. What is that? Well, I, I left them in the oven too long and they've got very warm and very, very hard. I just don't know what to do with them. <laughs> That's what I call a hot cross bun. <laughs> Get it? Hot and cross buns? <laughs> oh, drum! Don't worry, Mrs. Crust. Maybe we can cheer them up. Really? But how? I know. Would any of you buns like to come for a ride? <laughs> Hooray! Perhaps we can find the hot dude something cool to do. So Beep, the band and the hot cross buns went for a ride around Sing Song City. Where are we going, Beep? I thought we'd try and cool the buns down a bit. But how? With help from firefighters Sue and Ben. Hello, Beep. What can we do for you? Can we borrow Red's hose? Of course you can, Beep. But what's it for? <gasps> to cool down these hot buns. Well, I've saved a few hot dogs before, but never hot buns. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Red. Are you ready? Ready, buns? Yeah. Go! Hot cross buns, hot cross buns One a penny, two a penny Hot cross buns If your daughters do not like them Give them to your sons One a penny, two a penny Hot cross buns hot Red cross spray buns. cooled the buns down Making them a little happier Enjoy that, Buns. 
<laughs> oh dear. Maybe if we can find them something else to do, they will cheer up. I think I know just the person to help. Come on, band. After thanking Sue and Ben for their help, Beep headed off to the park to see Jasper. Hi, Beep. Hello, Jasper. How would you like to try out some new juggling balls? Oh, cool. Yes, please. How about it, Buns? <laughs> Do you think you could give them a tickle as you juggle? Um, it may cheer the little fellows up. Of course! <laughs> Mind you, I've never juggled with buns before. One and a two and a three and a four! Jasper tried to juggle with the hot cross buns, but the clown soon got in a muddle. Watch the buns go up, watch the buns go down. They're not very happy. Watch the buns all frown. Watch the buns they rise, watch the buns they fall. They're not very happy buns at all. Oh, my head! <laughs> Juggle with those buns, they're far too heavy and hard. Oh my! I'm sorry, buns. Hey, why don't you try Mr. Brick? He's always looking for extra help. Great idea! Oh, don't worry, buns. We'll find something for you to do to make you feel happier. So Beep headed off to the airport, where Mr. Brick was still laying the runway. Mr. Brick. Hello, Beep. What do you think? Oh, very nice. Don't get too close. The tarmac is still wet. Oh, my. How yucky. What's that noise? It sounds like Peter, Paul and Mary, but they can't be back already. Ready for landing, over. Ready. Ready, over. Oh, no. It can't be. They'll run straight into the wet tarmac. Oh, here they come. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, uh, uh, I know. OK, band, place the buns all in a line on the edge of the wet runway. What are you doing, Beep? Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What next, Beep? The most important part of the plan. As loudly as you can, shout stop. Stop! I say, I think we need to slam on the brakes, over. Roger that, over. I say, these buns are jolly strong. We're very impressed, aren't we, gang? Yes, rather. You'd be perfect to stop us rolling about the airfield. How do you fancy the job, little buns? What do you think? Do you want to stay? <laughs> <laughs> they used to be hot cross buns, but now they're plain buns. <laughs> oh. 
So the buns found the perfect job, and the planes never had to worry about rolling up and down the airfield again. All thanks to Beep and the band. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long. Usually quiet morning in Sing Song City. Beep and the band met no one on their travels, but all that was about to change. Ah, what a quiet morning it's been. We haven't had to stop once. Don't speak too soon, Trombone. Hey, man, anything could happen. Oh, yeah? Like what? Hey, like, uh, uh, that! Whoa! Ah! I knew it wasn't going to stay quiet for long. <laughs> oh, thanks for stopping, Beep. Could you give me a lift to the railway station? What's up, Jasper? Mr Whistle, the station master, has gone on holiday. So I said I'd do his job for the day. I've got my flag and I've got my whistle. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, I, uh, no, no, no. <coughs> oh, no. What's happened to my whistle? Oh, my. It's lost its pee. <laughs> At least we'll get some... Peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, drum. Oh, Beep, what am I going to do? I can't be a proper station master without a whistle. The trains won't know whether they're coming or going. Don't worry, Jasper. Let's go to Timothy Spintop's shop. He's bound to have a whistle you can use. Oh, <laughs> good idea, Beep. Oh, but we'll have to be quick. I've got to get to the station before the first train arrives. Don't worry. I'll be super fast. Hold on. Beep, Jasper and the band headed off to Timothy Spintop's toy shop. As promised, Beep arrived in no time at all. Hello, Beep. Now, what can I do for you? We need your help. Oh, of course. What's up? Jasper's whistle has... Uh, lost its whistle. It's terrible. Listen. I've got lots of different kinds of whistles. Loud ones, quiet ones, almost grey ones, silly ones. I've even got invisible ones, but I can never find those. Oh, take your pick. Jasper and the band played and puffed all the whistles that Timothy Spintop had. Looking for a whistle that's big or small. Looking for a whistle that's short or Looking for a whistle to stop the train. If this one doesn't work, we'll have to look again. 
was having so much fun they had almost forgotten why they were there until they heard a very different type of whistle somewhere in the distance. Hey, that sounded just like a train's whistle. <laughs> That's the kind you want, Jasper. Did, 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 did you say train whistle? <gasps> yeah. Coming. Oh, Beep, we've got to get to the station before it arrives. But uh, what about finding you a new whistle? Oh, well, uh, this looks perfect. I'll take this one. But, uh, Jasper, that's... Uh, uh... Bye, Timothy. But, a magic whistle. Oh, my. Beep drove through Sing Song City as quickly as he could, but the train was getting near to the station. Just when it looked as though Beep was going to get to the station in time, they discovered the road ahead was completely blocked. How are we going to get to the station? There's no way through. Hey, maybe there is. Mr Brick, can you make us a ramp? No problem, Beep. Come on, men. Oh, no! The train's almost at the station. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> hey, man, this is exciting. Oh, 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 I hope I don't break a string. And it looks like we're going to reach the station just in time. Oh, my. Quick, Jasper. Blow your whistle. The train's coming in. <laughs> oh, I'm so looking forward to this. <gasps> oh, no. It's one of Timothy's magic whistles. Oh, what am I going to do? The train will drive straight through the station. OK, band, I know what we can do. Play a sharp tune and fire your notes at the bubbles. sent the train on its way, out of the station, taking the passengers back home. We're so well trained. 
<laughs> Trade. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> oh, Jerome! So Jasper kept the trains running on time and the passengers were happy. And it was all thanks to Daisy, the band and, of course, Beep. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. Sing Song City. Even the band were having problems today. Oh, this is impossible. Hey, chill out, man. Oh, oh, very funny. <laughs> Everywhere Beep went, the wind was causing chaos. Dozy, Beaky and Titch were starting to feel quite seasick and they hadn't even left the harbour yet. Oh, dear. The sheep didn't seem to mind the cold. Or Daisy. They were having great fun. <laughs> Come on, Daisy. Hey, man. I know what would warm us up. Cake! <laughs> Beep headed towards Mrs. Crust's cake shop. Hello, Mrs. Crust. Oh, oh, hello, Beep. <laughs> oh, and hello to you too, Daisy. <laughs> oh, sorry, Daisy. It's too cold to bake cakes today. If only I had a nice warm cardigan. Oh. oh, oh, thank you, Daisy. We'd best be going, Daisy. Bye bye, Mrs. Crust. They hadn't got very far when. Stop! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Dear, I'm ever so sorry, Beep. I seem to have lost my hat. Oh, dear. Where could it be? Don't worry, Mr. Mayor. We'll help you find it, won't we, Band? Yes! Yeah, sure thing! thing. <laughs> oh, well spotted, Daisy. Go for it, Daisy. You can do it. Climb aboard, Mr. Mayor. We'll get your hat. Look at it go, look at it go, off on a wind up high and then low. Look at it go, look at it go, look at it disappearing, oh no. Taking up the chase and looking like a race, the hat is blowing everywhere it can. It's going very hat was swept away by a gust of wind. Daisy raced after it, followed by Beep and the band. Even Mrs. Crust joined the chase. Oh no. 
just when it looked as if Daisy had caught the hat. We'll never get it down from there. Beep had an idea. I know. Can you play a tune for me, band? Oh, we can try, but every time we play, the notes fly about all over the place. Exactly. They might knock the hat down. Hey, <laughs> cool. Let's give it a try, guys. One, two, three, four, play. <laughs> Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Don't worry. It will soon blow over. Oh. <laughs> blow over. Get it? <laughs> hey, Jorv, it's working. Beep didn't have time to explain to Mr. Brick. With one last gust of wind, the hat disappeared. Sorry, Mr. Mayor, but it looks like we couldn't catch your hat after all. Oh, never mind. Thank you all for trying. I suppose I'll just have to buy a new one. One, two, three, four... What on earth was that? Yoo-hoo! Anybody there? <laughs> it's me, Mrs. Crust, Little Boy Blue. What are you doing? This is when I usually take my afternoon nap. But I couldn't sleep, so I'm counting sheep until I do. But I'm so cold. Oh, I know exactly how you feel. Hey, me too. <laughs> it's all right for those sheep. They've got their lovely woolly coats to keep them warm. I know a way you can all keep warm. You, you do? do? Beep had a plan. Have you got any knitting needles, Mrs. Crust? Right here, dear. Are you ready to knit? Uh, yes. <coughs> Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool you could spare? the wool from the sheep and the knitting needles, Beep set Mrs. Crust to work. Mrs. Crust knitted a hat, a cardigan and a lovely warm blanket.
Thanks to Beep, Mrs Crust and the sheep, of course, everyone was nice and cosy. The mayor had a new hat, Mrs Crust had a warm cardigan and Little Boy Blue had a cosy blanket. But where was Little Boy Blue? He was having his afternoon nap after all. But no one ever caught up with the mayor's old hat. Or did they? sticky day in Sing Song City and Beep and the band were trying their best to keep cool. I'm too hot! I'm too hot! Hey, relax. Stay cool, Drum. There's only one thing that will keep me cool. I... I... Ice cream! OK, OK. It was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Ice cream. Get it? <laughs> tip of my tongue. <laughs> no. Ice cream, here we come! <laughs> Beep knew just the place for ice cream. He headed towards the pier. Hello, Beep. Hello. Whatever could be wrong on a day like today? I've been sitting here all day and I haven't caught one fish. Oh, dear. Well, maybe some ice cream would cheer you up. I'm sure there's plenty to spare. Oh, yes, please! Yum, yum, here they come! Thank you, Sax. Daisy was finding this ice cream lark harder than it looked. and wondered what the little boats were so excited about. But they didn't have to wait very long to find out. Wow! A fish that flies! It looks like that fish is in a hurry. Look at him go! Oh, I wonder where he's going. Why don't we follow him and see? Yeah, yeah great! great. Beep sped off, trying to keep up with the fish. Wherever the fish was heading, it certainly looked like it was having fun. Speeding along on a big red bus, hitting the bumps, because we're in a rush. Everything's jumping along with us, because we're speeding along on a big red bus. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. Bumpy, jumpy, bumpy, jumpy, bump.
This is a great way to keep cool. <laughs> Beep and the band were having so much fun that they didn't notice something was wrong. <laughs> What's wrong, Daisy? Oh, dear. The fish couldn't go any further. It looked so sad that they decided to try and help. Maybe we could move the tree out of the way. It's worth a try, Trombone. But it does look very heavy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Watch this. <laughs> Nice try, Drum. Maybe if we all helped. Oh. Oh. This is hopeless. It won't budge. know just the men for the job. Beep made his way towards the castle. Go on! You can do it! Jump! Machine, jump! While Beep was searching for help, the band thought that with a few words of encouragement, the fish might be able to jump over the tree after all. But as high as the fish jumped, it still wasn't high enough. Meanwhile, Beep found just the men he was looking for. If anyone could shift that tree, the soldiers could. Back at the river, Daisy thought she would show the fish how it was done. Go for it, Daisy! One, two, three, jump! <laughs> Well done, Daisy! Now it's your turn, Mr Fish. Beep arrived just in time and the soldiers got to work. The soldiers couldn't move that tree. The soldier's hat gave Beep an idea. Maybe we don't have to move the tree after all. Beep had thought of a way to make both the fish and the little boy on the pier happy. Hello again. Have you caught any fish yet? I know where you'll be able to catch a fish. You do? Yep, come with me. Back at the river, they'd run out of ideas and were having a paddle to cool down. Hooray! <laughs> Beep's back! Beep explained his plan. If we can catch the fish, we can let it go again on the other side. Cool! Everyone watched as the little boy tried to catch the fish. had saved the day once again. The fish was free to carry on his journey and the little boy was happy because he did catch a fish after all. 
to be found on the streets of Sing Song City today. Everyone seemed to have disappeared. But there was a good reason. It was hide and seek day. Everyone was hiding. All except for Beep and the band, whose turn it was to find everyone. Hide and seek day! Hey! It's so much fun. Who are we looking for first? Mrs Crust. She's got our first clue for finding the others. Well, we're coming up to Mrs Crust's shop. Can anyone see her? Uh, no, not yet, man. Uh, oh, my! Is that Mrs. Crust over there? <laughs> Where? I thought I could see Mrs. Crust's head behind all those rules. Hiding place, Mrs. Crust. Thanks, Beep. Well, you all get a bun for finding me. But there's nothing inside them. That's your final prize, Drum. If you can find everyone else, then you'll get something to put in the buns. Cool. <laughs> what will it be? <laughs> Wait and see. Right, here's your first clue. Humpty has climbed off his wall, hiding near a bugle call. Bugle call? Where do you find bugle calls? Hey, man, soldiers have bugle calls. Of course! He must be with the soldiers at the castle. <laughs> Look out, Humpty! Here we come! Daisy and the band took their empty buns from Mrs. Crust and headed for the castle. Well, I can't see Humpty anywhere. Don't worry, we'll find him. We just have to look harder. Humpty, where is Humpty? He cannot be found. Humpty Dumpty, we must find him searching all around. Humpty Dumpty, such a size and much too big to lose. But we've been looking everywhere, he must have left some clues. We're marching up and down. And Beep and the band searched and searched. Humpty Dumpty just cannot be You spotted Humpty yet? What's up, Doggy Daisy? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Whoops! Oh. Humpty! <laughs> there you are! Phew! I'm glad you found me. I... I haven't had to stand up for this long since I fell off my wall. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, before you have a rest, could you tell us our next clue, Humpty? Here goes. It might sound odd and a little crazy, but Mr. Spintop is next to Daisy. Daisy? Daisy? Humpty must mean another daisy. Hey, man, maybe he means a daisy flower. You're right, Sax. And who do we know who has lots of flowers? Miss Bloom! Beep and the band sped off to Miss Bloom's, full of excitement, sure that they would find Timothy Spintop there. Okay, band, we're looking for a daisy flower. What does it look like? Well, it's yellow, white, and box. <laughs> Wait a moment, what's this? Ta -da! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you got our prize, Timothy? Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm afraid not. Oh, no! That's it. I can't wait any longer. I'm going to have to eat my bun. If you do that, you'll have nothing to eat later. I don't care. <laughs> yum, yum. A bun for my tum. <laughs> oh, dear. We'd better have our next clue before Drum eats any more of the buns. In the park is your surprise. Use your nose to get your prize. The park! Oh, thank you. Come on, band. Just one more stop. Hold on. I'm coming. Timothy say, use your nose to get your prize. Oh, how do we use our nose to get our prize? <laughs> Can you smell food, Daisy? <laughs> Daisy's using her nose. Come on, everyone. I hadn't eaten my bun. I can't get a sausage now. Oh, don't worry, Drum. There's lots of buns. Look! <laughs> you can eat as much as you want. Hooray! <laughs> Beep and his friends all had lots and lots to eat. 
especially Drum, who ate five fat sausages and still had room for cake. Yum, yum. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The people on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bounce up and down all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep. band were on their way to the cake baking competition in the park. Everyone was ever so excited, especially about the secret game always played at the end of the day. <laughs> Almost there! Cool. I could smell the cakes from here. Where did that come from? Oh, I don't know. But it looks like cake to me. Hey, you're right, dude. It's blueberry surprise. <laughs> well, it certainly was a surprise, wasn't it, Beep? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Beep! Did my cake hit you? I'm very sorry. Oh, that's okay, Jasper. But uh, what's going on? <laughs> I'm making a cake for the competition. But as I was about to start baking it, I tripped over and the blueberry surprise went flying, uh, well, landing all over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, never mind. But it's lucky for you. You dropped it, Jasper. Oh, why? Well, the mayor doesn't like blueberries. That's right, and he's judging the competition. Oh, no! What am I going to do? I don't know what kind of cakes the mayor likes to eat. How can I find out? Just then, Beep had a good idea. Hey, let's go and see Mrs Crust. She's bound to know what the mayor's favourite cake is. Great idea, Beep! Once Daisy and the band had scooped all of Jasper's yummy cake off the front of Beep, everyone headed off to see Mrs Crust for a good bit of cake advice. Hello, Mrs Crust. Oh, hello there. I thought you'd all be at the cake competition by now. Well, that's why we've come to see you. We thought you'd know what the mayor's favourite kind of cake is. Yes, and if we made it, he'd be sure to say ours was the best. <laughs> oh, good idea. Oh, right now, let me think. Is it gooseberry? Or oh, does he like tarts? No, no, that's right. It's banana cake he likes. Banana? banana? Hey, man, where are we going to get bananas from? There are some bananas growing in the woods. <laughs> well, let's go and pick some. Beep, Jasper and the band all headed off to the woods to find some banana trees. Well, here we are. But which ones are the banana trees? <laughs> It looks like Daisy knows the way. There are trees all around, but only one can be 
round That is big and tall with fruit at the top If you find such a tree, you can take it from me You should soar right down and come to a stop So Jasper and the band loaded all the bananas onto Beep and they headed back to Timothy Spintops so they could start making Jasper's banana cake. Oh, what's going on here? Jasper's about to make a banana cake. Um, well, I've got a small problem, Beep. Oh, what's that? Um, I don't know how to make a banana cake. Oh, oh no. no! Well, don't worry. We'll all help, won't we? Yes! yes. The cake looks great. All we have to do now is bake it. Bake it? Oh, no, we haven't got time for that. The competition will be over by the time it's ready. This is heavy, man. What are we going to do? Never fear. I have some magic raisins that will cook the cake very, very quickly. We still have to think of a name for the cake, though. Uh, how about the Yum Yum Drum Cake? <laughs> oh, Drum! <laughs> hey, how about the Great Banana Band Cake? <laughs> what a good idea! OK, I've got the magic raisins. Here goes. Well, that's what I call self-raisin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I made a joke. <laughs> OK, gang. Let's go. Hooray! Beep, Jasper and the band headed off to the competition with their entry, the Great Banana Band Cake. It looks like we're just in time. Oh, goody! <laughs> the mayor slowly went around trying all the cakes. Yummy! What a lucky mayor! The great banana band cake was the last to be tried. This smells very nice, Jasper. <laughs> oh, I see. It's got banana in it. My favourite. I pronounce the winner Jasper's Great Banana Band Cake. Hooray! As ever, the winner of the cake competition gets to throw first. Jasper? Yes? 
there goes. <laughs> May the cake fight begin! Woo! <laughs> the cake fight lasted all day, with everyone having lots of fun. And if you wondered who won, well, <laughs> it was Beep and the Band. City's annual Wizards Club picnic and Beep and the band had just dropped all the wizards off in the park where the picnic was taking place. <laughs> Look what Daisy's just found downstairs in the bus. A wizard's bag. Oh, what's inside it? Five currant buns. <laughs> I'd love to be able to honk like sax. Oh, don't be silly, Drum. That could never happen. Wow. What happened then? That felt wonderful. <laughs> Just like a saxophone, then, drum. Where's your drumming sound gone? Uh, I don't know. I'll try again. <coughs> 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 uh, oh dear, drum. That doesn't sound right. Hey, sounds cool to me. Oh no. Did you eat your currant bun after wishing that you could swap sounds? Oh my, yes, I did. Oh, that's it. Those wizard buns must be magical. They're wishing buns. Whatever you wish for when you eat them will come true. Does that mean we've all swapped sounds? Hey, man, let's find out. The band all played, and sure enough, sax sounded like drum. Bass sounded like trombone. And trombone sounded like bass. Stop! Oh no! What 
What are we going to do, man? Just then, Beep had a great idea. I know. Just eat another bun and wish everything was back to normal. Hey, good thinking. <laughs> oh, no. The buns have disappeared. They must have fallen off while we were driving along. Oh, we must find them. Otherwise, we'll be stuck like this forever. Beep and the band retraced their steps, hoping to find the buns that they had dropped. However, some of the buns had already been found by other people. Gentlemen, for something completely different, I shall eat this carrot bun while still juggling. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh! 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 I wish I could make this audience laugh. <laughs> laughing, laughing, giggling and laughing, then we laugh some more. Laughing, laughing, giggling and laughing, rolling on the floor. Rubbing your eyes till you just can't see with a ha 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 and a hee hee hee. Ah. Laughing, laughing, giggling and laughing. Bun. Huh? Oh, and I made a wish that everyone would start laughing. Ah, Beep and the Bun, just the people I want to see. Oh, what's wrong, Mr Green? You must be more careful with your notes. I've been sweeping them up all day. Look how many I've got. You know, sometimes I wish there wasn't any music in Sing Song City. Oh, what's happened? You must have eaten a currant bun. Well, how did you know, Beep? <laughs> and how the scrummy it was, too. Oh, what are we going to do? The wish was for no more music in Sing Song City. <laughs> Oh, but I didn't mean it. This is awful. No music in Sing Song City. What are we going to do? It just won't be as much fun. <coughs> oh, well done, Daisy. You found the current bun. <coughs> Oh, well done, Daisy. 
crazy. <laughs> Phew. Well, it looks like Sing Song City is back to normal again. Uh, right, band? Well, let's find out. <laughs> the Five Current Buns adventure was over. And thanks to Beep, Daisy and the band, everything was back to normal. Not only did Daisy save Sing Song City with the last wish, but she also got a little present for herself. A big bone. <laughs> Sing Song City and Beep and the band had been driving around all afternoon. They only had one more job left to do, to pick up Polly. Hello, Polly! Hello! Hello, everyone. Where can we take you to? I need to go to Timothy's Spin Top Shop. I'm off to pick up my clockwork dolly. It broke down and Timothy has been fixing it for me. OK, Polly, jump on board. Timothy Spintop Shop, here we come! <laughs> this is going to be great fun. I thought today was going to be really boring. Woohoo! Watch out! <laughs> Careful, Jasper. Oh, it's sorry, Beep. Hey, Jasper, man. All that bouncing looks like fun. Where did you find those springs? They were just lying around in Timothy's spin-top shop, not being used. <laughs> well, they've certainly put a spring in your step. <laughs> oh, drum! Well, we're off to Timothy's shop now. Do you want to lift back? Oh, no! I've got lots of bouncing still to do. Bye, all! Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo! Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo! It wasn't long before Beep, the band, and Polly reached the shop. Oh, look! It's Polly's dolly. Oh, I can't wait to see it working. Hello? <laughs> Timothy? Are you home? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh my. Oh, oh. oh, it's you, Beep. I must have fallen asleep. Oh. <laughs> well, don't worry. Polly has just come to collect her dolly. Oh, of course, yes. I just have to attach two more springs and Dolly will be as good as new. Oh, no. The springs have disappeared. They were here before I fell asleep. Oh, I wonder where they could be. <laughs> I think a certain clown might have them. I'll be right back. Hey, hold on, Beat Man. We'll come too. OK, 
Okay, band, keep a lookout for Jasper. He shouldn't be too hard to find. <laughs> You're right, Beak. Look over there. Hold on tight. Beep and the band tried to get Jasper's attention, but the bouncing clown was in a world of his own as he leapt up and down on his springs. the band tried, they couldn't get Jasper to notice them. Oh, what are we going to do, Beep? Jasper should pass us here at any moment. When he does, play as many notes as you can, all at once. Hey, sounds like jazz to me, dude. OK, band, play! Oh! Oh, my! Where have all these notes come from? Oh! It looks like Beep needs me! Hey, Beep, what's up? Uh, am I in trouble? No, but we've got to get you back to Timothy's shop with those springs as soon as possible. Jump on. Oh, it's all right, Beep. I'll bounce back. Let's go. Woohoo! 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 Oh. Meanwhile, back at the shop, Timothy tried to fix Polly's dolly using some other springs. <laughs> Is Dolly ready to go yet? Well, I think so. Cross your fingers. Oh, cool! This is better than playing a drum roll. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, dear. Dolly needs winding up again. The springs I fitted were far too small. I thought she looked a little run down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hooray! It's Beep. Did you find Jasper? Uh, well, yes. Where is he? Oh, my word! My springs! Yes, sorry, Timothy. I didn't know they were being used for anything. Oh, never mind, Jasper. Now you've brought them back, Dolly will be fixed in no time. Once Jasper had removed the springs from his shoes, Timothy started to fit them to Dolly. Oh, 
long before Dolly was wound up and ready to play again. But this time with her proper springs. So Polly's dolly was fixed and ready to go home, all thanks to Beep, Timothy and the band. And as for Jasper, <laughs> he soon found something else to play with instead of the springs. Swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep.